There was an article that came out in the New York Times the fall of, what was it, maybe 2010, I think, about the 20-somethings. And it was great that that was sort of, okay, it's being written about, but what's the inside perspective? The moment where you sort of like wake up in the morning and you're lying next to someone who you don't know and you have alcohol still in your breath and you want to move but their arm is over you and so you think, okay, great, well, I need to get up and I don't want them to think that I'm leaving but I really have to pee and so how do I sort of like carefully, oh, great, they're moving, great, how's my breath, it smells terrible, like all these things that run through my, these experiences that we all have that we need to sort of like tell and need to capture and that was the goal is finding those intimate moments of essence that are sort of scary and very real. And what we tried to do uh, in the writing process is to bring uh, different perspectives, both masculine and feminine, um, into showing what that experience really is like for us today. That, with a large degree of craft and a little bit of spectacle in a very unique way to take in this theater, is what we want to be doing. We want to be telling our stories. We want to be sort of taking our audience on a bit of a journey that they've never experienced before. How could we really do this so it could be a bigger, grander experience? Yes. You know, and I think that's what there's space for. And it's not, the difference is it's not just presentation, it's not just force of Ruta. Wow, this is cool, or Blue Man Group, like, yeah. this is neat. It's like, this is neat and cool, and holy shit, that's really what that's like. Yeah. That's really what I mean. I'm, it's I'm, I'm scary like, reality, I know. Yeah. Not only being able to see that experience, but literally playing it on these people and in a way that's not lacking story or content. It's a new version, I guess, of the building's Roman, which kind of sounds ridiculous because I'm 26 years old. But I think, uh, I'm speaking for myself and a number of my contemporaries, that, that the feeling of coming of age is definitely at the forefront of our experience. This is a very dangerous, very vulnerable experience that they have decided to reveal about themselves and their their life experiences to be on stage. It's something new, and it's something new because it's something coming right from the core of us. We have sort of created a world for these experiences to live out, and I think what we seek is for a platform to elevate those ideas and make those ideas greater. And so we're the young New York artists who have the idea 